grass is a little long along here and this car has the same windy sound as the uh, Senton does I think Armour need to work on the gear mesh setup but man this thing handles good I mean this is 2S it's driving beautifully have a little bit of authority in the air, which is nice. Oh, lucky it's waterproof. We are in the middle. Ooh, we are in the middle of summer. Ooh, another nose dart there. But uh, it was a little frosty last night. It was a little cold. Grass is a little wet. Oh, I'm just not uh, hitting that jump with enough speed. All right, one more lap. On 2S, this is zooming along just fine. That's better. Nice. <laughs> Getting all sorts of dirty now. Nice and early in the morning here, and the, the sun's right in my eyes. Yeah, on 2S, this is incredibly, whoops, this is very ma manageable, perfect for anybody that wants to start out with a, uh, with a brushless setup. On 2S, you're doing about 50 k's or thereabouts, this is perfect. Interestingly enough, I'm not having any issues with the steering on this one, with the scent and I was having problems out here with rocks getting stuck in the steering and so forth, but oh, would that have been, yeah, that's why, okay, I'm having it now, there it is, okay. So rocks get stuck in the steering somehow and stop you from uh, being able to turn. Just as I was saying that, how about that? It got stuck, I couldn't turn it. Well, this is about as, as much as you need to see, I think, on 2S. Very manageable. Good speed. Not crazy. And enough, whoa, enough to have a bit of fun. Can we do some donuts? Ah, oh, of course we can. There we go, look at that. Oh, and just pulls out of it so easy on full, full throttle. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, time to go through, yes. Okay, that's got a bit more pep. Oh, sun's shining right in my face right about now. Whew. That was smooth, nice. Yeah, the grass here is a little long, but uh, I'm not having much trouble getting through it. Still very smooth, very controllable. When you peg it down the line, <laughs> I've got a bit out of shape then. We went through the real thick stuff. Man, this thing it's speed on 3S. Whoa. I just got a face full of stones, that was nice. Yeah, clear the jump now, no problem. Woo, this thing, oi, whoops. <laughs> Took it a bit too far. All right, got it back. This jumps real nice. Real easy to control in the air. You do have a little bit of authority. Maybe because of the uh, of the big wheels and the lightweight car, it does allow you to control control it in the air quite well. See, I was able to bring the nose up, which is something that's normally pretty hard to do on uh, one eight scale buggies, unless you're doing some crazy power. Um, so here on three S, 
I think she's probably capable of backflips, maybe, if you have a, a ramp that sort of goes up high enough. Oh, please the jump. Man, this thing handles good. I'm impressed. Oh, this thing's nuts. No problem. Oh, this thing's a flyer. All right, let's take it on the big jump, see how it handles that. All right, now this jump has claimed many lives in the past, but it also has created many heroes. Let's see which one the Python is. Wow, front nose comes up pretty easy with just a bleep of the throttle. Interesting thing though, no issues with drive shafts at this stage. <laughs> Man, this thing goes. That is insane. Oh, okay, that was the first hard hit. It landed all sorts of wrong. Let's go and inspect the damage, see what's happened. Yep, car's fine. We're good to go. That was, uh... That sounded bad, but uh, it didn't do anything to the car. Car's fine. corrected that and saved it from an absolute nose dart man this thing one thing I am noticing with not having a center diff it is a little bit fishtail happy compared to its uh, one eight scale brethren, which I guess you know makes it for a little bit more of an interesting drive. You can see just every now. Oh, that was awful. As I was saying, oh god, those ruts. Um, you can see that every now and again it likes to kick the rear out. And it kicks it out quite aggressively. But man, this thing don't quit. That is. Oh, it switched off. Ah, oh, the plug must have come off. Let's go have a look, see what's happened. All right, so. My plug just came off, no biggie. All is good. One of the bullets on my XT60 is a little bit, a little bit tight, it needs to be opened up a bit so it, it just makes a good solid connection and it doesn't come unplugged. So a minor issue, fixed in about two seconds. I just can't be bothered going back to the car right now and fixing it, so we'll do a couple more jumps and uh, yeah, we'll pack this one in because I think uh, we've proven our point here. We've taken some good hits, taken some good jumps. Whoa. See, that's the difference of not having a center dip, I think. It just, it unloads very quickly. You have to really squeeze that trigger. <laughs> Man, this thing can fly. This thing can fly. So it's a 1.8 scale buggy based on a 1.10 scale platform. And there we go. It just takes it. I mean, this has got plastic shocks. I was really worried about these shocks and I was really worried about these drive shafts. But it seems that, I don't know, I may have uh, worked some magic and they've, uh, they've come up with a good a good setup. This thing, you know, for the money, I think it's what, 300 bucks US? Whoa! <laughs> this is insane! This thing's nuts! 
the only restrictions you really have with a buggy versus say a, a Creighton or something like that is just ground clearance over some tall grass or some really bumpy terrain like if you're driving over a lot of this uneven stuff you know the the shorter arms and the shorter chassis will be um, I guess a, a little bit more unstable compared to a proper truggy chassis oops uh, yeah see the Creighton I think would have just plowed through that little weed but um, as far as bashability and can it jump and how does it handle and all of this oh, I think my plug no I think that might be low voltage actually as far as how it handles and all of that I think um, I think the buggy has definitely proven its worth these things are very tough no doubt about that and I think the armor have done a pretty decent job at least uh, based on this first bash that I've done here all right that's it for me guys thank you all very much for watching if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're new and as always check out the video description for more information on the buggy as well as links to my social media pages i thank you all very much for watching and i'll catch you all next time